morning and welcome to morning prayer now <laughs> i'm very confused um smith nothing, nothing new there but um i thought we celebrated barnabas yesterday uh my phone app barnabas came up as yesterday and in fact when i checked barnabas day is the 11th of june um you know what has been <laughs> i think it's something to do with coinciding with corpus christi um because you get the corpus christi readings which we had yesterday anyway we get the barnab we get barnabas or, or certainly get a barnabas reading from acts of the apostles today so anyone remember anything we said about barnabas yesterday if you were here yesterday he's a good bloke <laughs> <laughs> thanks gary he's a good bloke he, you only get in the book if you're a good bloke uh or, or a good woman i should say um he was, uh, was mentioned in the bible he get he gets a mention in the bible he does uh he, I said he, jezebel oh jezebel you were right <laughs> yeah but we don't have saint jezebel's day <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't a good woman exactly we don't um we remember her but not in quite the same way um yeah so barnabas worked with paul uh, on his missionary journeys and he was a great encourager full of the holy spirit um, and he yeah when paul first went to meet the christians in jerusalem um he sort of paved the way for paul and said he he's okay to come in here um mm -hmm. Yes, you know, it feels like certainly at the outset he was senior to paul yeah but anyway, yeah. it's interesting isn't it mm. but anyway he was a good man and he worked hard uh serving god and um yeah and, and so we give thanks for him today okay oh lord open our lips Oh come, oh come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving and be glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God. We are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, on the de that day at Massa in the wilderness, when your forebears tested me and put me to the proof, though they had seen my works. Forty years long, I detested that generation and said, this people are wayward in their hearts, they do not know my ways. So I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Those last few verses were a kind of optional extra to the canticle. <laughs> see why rather really but anyway okay the night has passed and the day lies open before us let us pray with one heart and mind as we rejoice in the gift of this new day so may the light of your presence O god set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever amen oh my goodness it's a minuscule psalm uh psalm 100 let's uh besola if you do the odd verses and i'll do the even ones yeah oh be joyful in the lord all the earth serve the lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song know that the lord is good it is he that has made us and we are his we are his people and the sheep of his pasture Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Oh, be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. 
That's wonderful, isn't it? Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. I really enjoyed Hansel's songs last night, didn't you, Basola? Yes, I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful to sing praise to God, isn't it? It's different to praying. I mean, it is a form of praying, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Who is it who said when you sing, you pray twice, yeah? I don't yeah, know. Because you're praying and praising him as well. Yeah, you, you do, it's almost like you're doing it twice. You're uh, praying and praising together, yeah. Um, I don't know about your Peter. <laughs> oh, and he's singing. <laughs> right, Anne. <laughs> yeah, I, said, I have to sit next to him. I'm not sure that is a joyful noise to the Lord's ears. Yeah, I mean, it's, when, it's when very loud. I mean, you can't miss him. It's but very I think loud. Better, I think he's better doing the readings myself. <laughs> because he does put his heart and soul into his readings doesn't yeah. he yes. yeah this is my husband elizabeth that she's talking about yeah. who is uh you know <laughs> our worst singer in church by by a long mile and that would be cruel he, just, he sings with his heart that. Yeah. he gives it plenty of gusto gusto or whatever but like um it's 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 incredibly out of tune but anyway never mind um we oh we've got some very short readings today haven't we okay so um gary do you want to read the jeremiah reading yeah well it's verses chapter 9 verses 23 and 24 says the lord do not let the wise boast in their wisdom do not let the mighty boast in their might. Do not let the wealthy boast in their wealth. But let those who boast, boast in this, that they understand and know me, that I am the Lord. I act with steadfast love, justice and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, says the Lord. That's a wonderful passage, isn't it? Um, we At least he got to the point. Gets to the point. We understand what he's saying. <laughs> um, and um, it's something that, as a Christian, you don't think of yourself, this word boasting, you think of yourself boasting, really, do you? Um, but our faith is something to be proud of. Our faith is something to be proud of. It's something good and precious, and valuable, and we should, yeah, we should be happy for others to see it. Yeah. Mm. Oh like, no, no, no! You keep it in your in the in the in the wardrobe and then bring it out on Sundays. No, and <laughs> no, no, you 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 just a Christian on Sundays, aren't you? No. 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 <laughs> I, I, look, it is true in our culture we boast we look to people who are very wise and intelligent and we look up to them and we look up to people in their might people who are strong and powerful athletes and people like that and we look up to to the wealthy people who've made big success of their lives to the bill gates of this world and whatever but we have something that many of those people don't have and that is faith and trust in god yeah and a knowledge of god and an experience of god and a relationship with god and that is something more yeah yeah we just need to recognize that and be willing to let it show yeah you know what you do is you hide behind Martine and Gary, you push them out front, and they have to answer all the difficult questions. Like why? Could be put on mute in a minute, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Anyone else uh, want to come back at Anne with this um, opinion? Mm -hmm. I think our problem is, at least it is for me, the whole idea of boasting is something 
that I don't like. I, I, I really, you know, I find that really difficult. But what I'm actually wanting to do is to glorify God and, and share it confidently so that I want others to know it. Um, and the whole, you know, the, the idea of boasting is something that I struggle with because it's, it's a sort of personality thing, I suppose. I, I can't yeah, cope I mean, I think it's a difficult word because it has a pejorative sense in exactly. English. Exactly. But I think, you know, I mean, think less of things like, I think, it, like, you know, people kind of boast in their children or they're proud of their children. You know, when your child does something good, an achievement, you might say, oh, gosh, I'm really pleased that my daughter's, you know, won this academic prize or whatever it is. Or, you know, or something simpler, like, you know, you've, you've spent time in your garden and your garden's looking really nice and you invite someone around and they say, well, you, you know, your garden's looking lovely. You, you know, you, you, you're proud of, you, that you've done something good and valuable or you're recognising that in someone else and um, pointing out this good thing. You're pointing out this good thing that your, your child has done a good thing or, or, or anything like that. Uh, like, um, but do we do that with mm. our faith? There's this good, precious thing yeah. in our exactly. lives and... Are we pointing to it and saying, look at this wonderful thing in my life? Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, I think the thing, thing about boasting, the thing about boasting as, as I see it, is that it's, it's something you can't help doing because yes. you feel so elated about whatever it is that it, it spills out of you. You mm. have, you know, you can't help it. And... If you see if you see what you're being asked to do here in that context, I think yeah. it it, it um, sits much better yes. with our consciences. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's yeah. not showing off. It's just say, you know, like if you were to see, you know, a beautiful um, landscape or see, you know, say, wow, look at that. Let's yeah. stop and look at that beautiful valley or whatever it is. You'd be pointing it out, wouldn't you? Um, or you see a, a, a wonderful painting, you say like, oh, let's just stop and look at that. It's amazing, yeah? Um, and it's about pointing to our faith and say, look at this wonderful thing that I've discovered, yeah? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And also, yeah. uh, maybe when one is testifying yeah. or testimonies about things God had done for mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. especially maybe you've prayed concerning a particular thing and... Um, God, I mean, the thing actually happened. I, mm -hmm. I, I think you should, I mean, one should be able to be proud to say, oh, I prayed and God answered me. Yeah. Because you know that it's not about you. It's yeah. actually giving the glory to God. Yes, yes, absolutely, Bissola. Yeah. Yeah. Well, can I just say, that's what it says in the reading. Yeah. Those who boast this that they understand and know me that i am the lord yes yeah that i am the lord i act with steadfast love yeah. justice it, and it righteousness says that's what you're supposed to boast about exactly. yes You've got three cars and x <laughs> many millions in the bank <laughs> no. indeed but we have jesus and he's in our lives and it's made our lives rich beyond compare yeah Mm. Yes, we have our faith and trust in him who loves us. Mm. Um, yeah. Well, what a wonderful passage, yeah. I found that really uplifting mm. and really inspiring, yeah. Okay, yeah. great. All right, well, let's move on to the New Testament. Um, Elizabeth, would you like to read that one for us? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now the whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one claimed private ownership of any possessions, but everything they owned they held in common. With great power the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as owned lands or houses sold them and brought their proceeds of what was sold. They laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as any had need. There was a Levite, a native of Cyprus, Joseph, to whom the apostles gave the name Barnabas, 
which means son of encouragement. He sold a field that belonged to him, then brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth. So, uh, it's so inspiring to read about this very early church, these first followers of Jesus, who really do seem to get it, that everything they owned was held in common. Um, and there was not a needy person among them. For as many as owned lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold. They laid it at the apostles' feet and it was distributed to each as any had need. Um, there was a kind of total pooling of resources. And um, maybe that's something that's hard for us to imagine. You know, we think, well, that would be impossible. Uh, but we could do better. You know, there's always the extreme you can appoint, look to and say, ha, oh, that's impossible, we might as well forget it. But we could do better. We could be better at sharing our resources. Um, we could, there is very, I mean, there is very little sharing of, there's an awful lot of duplication of stuff that we have. And I do think, um, not just within the church community, but within our neighborhoods, uh, we, it would be wonderful if we could share resources better, yeah? I mean, I, I used to quite like it before your time in the summer we used to um um every other week we in august we used um, us and saint paul's used to go to close and go to each other's churches and that was quite nice because mm. we, that was sharing resources and that meant both the vicars got a decent holiday and all this and and you got to meet other people um mm. i met a lot of people from saint paul's that way because we barely have anything to do with saint paul's or say Nicholas mm. churches really. Um, we I know that we tried meeting up with drinks, but that didn't work really. But uh, we barely know what each other are doing, really. I mean, I only know about what they're doing by posters they put up and all this. Uh, it's a, I always think it's a bit of a shame that we don't really communicate very much. I, I mean, I don't know if you. Um, I, I can just about recognise the, the Vic of St. Paul's just about, but I never remember his name. Michael Riley. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I would recognise him just if he wasn't um, wearing his dog collar, but uh, I don't think I would recognise the Vic of St. Nicholas. Simon um, Brands, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it, 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 yeah, it's difficult. It would be nice to do more things together. Um, yeah. Yeah. What and about also that, means we, can share. Uh, that means we can share resources as well. Yeah. Because I don't well, know that's... if St. Nicholas has a church hall or anything. Um, yeah, although I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's so much about ch sharing church resources, although that is an important thing. Um, or sharing our faith. Sh sharing, well, sharing our faith, sharing everything. It's sharing our possessions and... Um, our wealth and yeah, I was thinking more of you know things like I don't know lawn mowers and stuff like that where you know everyone's got their own stuff and it just seemed a bit unnecessary for every street every house to have you know we've all got our own cars and I know that there are um, there's more car pooling these days um, and that's a good thing but all those kind of things I think we could do more sharing um and just i suppose um you know thinking having a little bit less attachment to our stuff and thinking that you know that this none of this stuff really belongs to me it belongs to god and i can use it or i can share it with others yeah even I mean, your cat also have a wider context uh i mean i know that it would be an impossible dream if the whole earth was owned in common, it is owned in common, 
but it's divided into little groups and nations and so on. And if we could only claim no ownership of any of, of the things that the world, that the earth produces, um, wouldn't that be wonderful? Yeah. yeah. It's a bit like when, when, when you go into hospital, they ask you what religion you are. And they might say, oh, well, are you Catholic? And I, and I sort of jump up and say, no, 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 no certainly not. I'm Church of England, as if, you know, but we're, we're both Catholic. I mean, you don't, you're, we're both Christian. You don't say, I'm a Christian. You say, oh, no, 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 you're either a Catholic or a Church of England or whatever, you know. Um, uh, we don't have a, um, I think you might have, you ought to really say, I'm a Christian when they yeah. ask you in, at the hospital. Yeah, yeah because also, it isn't a religion. Exactly. Mm. Mm. I think that the pandemic has made us see how artificial borders are because mm -hmm. like you can't keep a virus out really you know it doesn't respect borders does it um mm. and um yeah I hope that we've learned something from that and although there hasn't been so much cooperation um we have looked to each other to help uh combat the virus and uh let let's hope that that's you know will lead to more cooperation um but you know i think there's not much that you and i can do about that really but on the local level we probably got more power to to do more, yeah. Mm. Uh, so I think but we there should. There's been a lot of generosity by people, either of their money, yes, collections, but also people who've helped in the way of distributing food and delivering it and all the rest of it. One would hope that that can continue. That neighbourliness. That has yes, that neighbourliness. Yeah. That's a really good word, Elizabeth, neighbourliness, yeah? We, we, it has been an opportunity to increase our neighbourliness and we have, you know, most of us got to know more people on our streets and around us over these last couple of months. Um, and I think that that will endure because people have got to know each other a little bit more and uh so i think more naturally we'll be looking out for each other um mm. but yeah we could obviously go much further yeah oh yes always room for improvement <laughs> <laughs> you're right always room for improvement but that's the thing don't be discouraged that we can't get to this you know great ideal but we can get better and that's the kind of thing to focus on really well what have you been working on me for god knows how long i mean I, poor you you don't see seem to have seen any improvement in me at all <laughs> i don't know still... you're here attending morning prayer now Anne, which is oh, yeah yeah but, but um but, but um, <laughs> um, um um we're gonna have to make uh, I, I think once we get back to normal you're gonna have to allow pajamas at uh, morning prayer so well, I think that we would never go to church. I don't well, think I could get to church for nine. No, but I think that we'll we'll continue it online when we get back to normal because I like having you with us and others who wouldn't be able to. Make well, what about Paul Betty though? What about Betty? Well, we, what we can do is well, we won't. We're getting off on a bit of a tangent here, but uh, we can we can always. Um, do it like this but from church so we can do it both together in person and together well, yeah. all right uh let's move on we're going to say the responsory forsake me not O lord be not far from me O my god forsake me not O lord be not far from me O my god make haste to help me O lord of my salvation be not far from me O my god glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. So let's have a time of prayer. Um, so, Lord, 
we do thank you for both of our readings this morning and from those words that you gave thousands of years ago to the prophet Jeremiah. And Lord, um, help us to boast in our knowledge and love of you and, and who you are. Um, not in a kind of puffed up way, but just pointing to this wonderful thing, this wonderful knowledge and relationship we have with you um, and um, the joy and peace that it brings to our lives, Lord, that we might share this with others and that we might share all things more with our um, neighbours. As Elizabeth says, we pray for greater neighbourliness not just in the Christian community, but um, throughout the general community and, and, and the world, as Leslie says, we, we want to be more sharing people. And uh, so maybe this pandemic can help us to see um, the value of that Lord and, and how you are in that greater neighborliness. Lord, I lift you those who've asked for prayer by name. Uh, Nike, Adesar Kinoliinka, George Georgiou, Christopher Golis, Vivian Golis, Mike and Kate Hudson, Pete Jadhav, Anna Lee, Catherine Malik, Noel Morrison, Kenny Nicholas, Helen Sylvester, Sarah Tonks, Martha and Ezra Prescott, and the school in Bulawayo, Sue Thackeray and all who mourn the loss of her mother, Mary George. Also, Dia Sharma and her family. Lord, be with us in times of trouble, uh, times of challenge. Uh, Lord, we uh, thank you for your amazing love, your healing love. Lord, bring us comfort and strength and healing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Lord, I lift you today, Sam and Haley, continuing their work in hospitals, and all of those in, in those professions and those duties who risk their lives for us and still do so, even though for most of us, freedom appears to be just around the corner. Guide us, Lord, in the risks that we all must take. And thank you, Lord, that however hard it is, I know that you have never, ever forsaken me. Mm. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Father, as we <coughs> read the uh, story of how those early Christians shared so much together, uh, and as we thought about sharing the earth and cooperating. We pray for all those of us who are part of your church, that maybe we'll stop talking about churches and talk more about your church, whatever the denomination is, that people will see that we are one, that we have this faith, mm. and that we, that we give an example of what it means to share and cooperate. Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Father, inspire your people that we may bring salt and light and that people may see that your way, your way of justice and righteousness and love and forgiveness is the best. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
bountiful God, giver of all gifts, who poured your spirit upon your servant Barnabas and gave him grace to encourage others. Help us by his example to be generous in our judgments and unselfish in our service through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Uh, using the contemporary version of the Lord's Prayer, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.